Father, please don't leave. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't do this. I'm sorry if I have sinned. I didn't mean to. Please. Mother has dozens of the same in her room. Each has an engraving with a big scary eye inside a triangle. My old nightstand. Mother said they threw it away. There's a matchbox inside the drawer. I can now try to light up the room. I'm in the basement! For God's sake, don't get seen in that place. Get out immediately! I'm still waiting to hear the prayer, son. What are you waiting for? You put him there? Why would you do that, Yoda? It's his behavior that did that to him. He was good all day. He helped me with the wheat and the food and... And he talked to a kid at the funeral. When did this happen? Uh, I, I, I didn't see him. Of course you didn't. Because you don't care about this family. I do. I should lock you all downstairs. You all need to learn. Where is she? Where is our daughter? Mother has dozens of the same in her room. Each has an engraving with a big scary eye inside a triangle. <laughs> help! Mother! Help me! You silly. What are you doing? It's me! I I'm sorry. I, I thought you were that witch. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Witches don't exist. And it's just the two of us here. You're wrong. Father would never lie to us. About what now? About the witch that cursed our bloodline. He's just trying to scare us with stories so we don't do anything wrong. And today you did wrong, so he punished you by locking you down here in the dark. What did I do? I, I still don't understand. You talked to that tall boy. Don't you remember? We are not allowed to talk to other people anymore. They are evil. I thought that meant we must avoid adults. How am I supposed to make friends then? Mother said we have each other and God. She's right. I don't think we need anyone else. Why are you here? I heard Father talking to himself before going to get you in your room. So I ran here and hid. But why? You know he's going to be very angry at you once he finds out. Because I've promised I wouldn't let you be alone in the dark again. And when I promise something... You never break a promise, I know. I'm glad you were here. I can't forget our aunt's white face. Me neither. She looks so different. Her head was so bloated and pallid. And her eyes and hair, so dark. The curse did that to her. Don't be ridiculous. She's at peace now. That's all that matters. I hope she is. Your aunt was once such a beautiful woman. Full of life. A perfect creation of God. But her fate was nothing more than a Sunday morning rite. And the witch's curse just a fairy tale story. Evil is everywhere, my dear children. It is hiding in the shadows of this world. 
It takes form of animals, and it possesses people. Father, please forgive! You should look up to your sister. Unlike you, she values God and this family. It's my fault he went to talk to that boy. I ignored him because I was looking into the coffin and I lost sense of time. Ah, I beg you, don't hurt him anymore. You must learn to be alone with God. You must learn. You all must learn what true faith is. Oh, uh, it was just a dream. I often think about that peculiar day, but I've never relived it so vividly in my dreams. Why now? Why in this place? I... I need my glasses. I can't even think without them. Nothing here except a thick layer of dust. Ah, here they are. Fallen to the floor, but still intact. Thinking of the dream I had, I don't remember going to sleep at all. We came in, and then... We came in, Victoria and Nikolai went upstairs to prepare for the castle, and then... Nothing. I must have fainted. I have to talk to Victoria at once. Nikolai? Yes, Benedict? Where's Victoria? I don't know. Do you have the slightest idea why Victoria rented this dreary house? I don't even know how she found it. Looks like the owner is some kind of artist. Or is at least convinced to be. Very morbid taste. <laughs> Strange figures. I agree. I've never seen so many masks in my life. Especially not placed on walls. That's a strange painting. It is. Take a better look at it, and tell me what you see. Why? Please, do as I say. I'll get to the point. Mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. A snake-like mouth implies a man who cannot be trusted, at the very least. That is not a mere shadow. It's a symbol of darkness, of evilness devouring this lost man. I've taken a closer look at the painting. You don't recognize this man? I've never seen him before. And nothing happened to you by looking at him? Why would anything happen to me? Last night, after your sister and I came upstairs, she was getting ready for the castle, and I was standing right here, and... I wonder, yesterday when we boarded the train, was anyone else in our cabin? Just the three of us. But once the train left Budapest, wasn't there a man who came in? By placing the sign, Do Not Disturb, on our doorknob, I made sure this wouldn't happen. The only time that door opened was when the conductor peered in to tell us we have arrived at our destination. You haven't answered. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? I don't know yet. Please, just follow me as I go over yesterday's events. I'll get to the point. And when we left the train station, no one was following us? Didn't Victoria notice him? Notice whom? Your dear wife was over the moon to have finally arrived at Sveti Kotar. She couldn't stop talking about the place, but said nothing about anyone following us. Right. And on our way to the house, we stopped at the square. There was a strange ritual taking place, with a gigantic effigy. What was it like? And what about the mass of hooded people that gathered there? It was a dreadful scene. I remember the goosebumps when hearing the crowd pray as one voice, though. Let me tell you what happened after that. We found the path which led us to this house. 
What happened when Victoria knocked? Well, we realized the door was actually ajar. And the owner wasn't here. Just silence. Dead awful silence. Uh, it gave me chills. Once we entered the house, what did you and your wife do? I said it before. We went upstairs to prepare for the castle exhibition. Leaving me to wander alone downstairs in complete darkness. You found nothing odd about the house being empty? And unlocked? I did, but Victoria said it's nothing to worry about. So I just followed her. We never went to the castle? You don't remember? The last thing I remember is searching for a light. And then nothing. What do you mean? I mean, everything after was only a dream. But I don't even remember going to sleep. Victoria dragged me into this town to make me attend that piddling exhibition in the castle. We never went there, did we? Which means I left the monastery only to spend a horrible night in this house. We both fell into an inexplicable void. <sighs> Something is terribly wrong here. Tell me what happened last night. What's wrong with this painting? And where's Victoria? I'm afraid I don't have the answers. What happened is that while I was waiting for her to get ready, my attention was drawn by this painting. Next moment, I was seeing myself relive yesterday's events, with one difference. The man in the painting was there the whole time. The whole time? He was in our cabin, and he was that gigantic effigy the inhabitants set on fire. Shortly afterwards, he emerged from the crowd in human form again, unchanged, and then led us towards the house. Once we got here, he jumped on my back and asked me to carry him upstairs. I was happy. I felt like a father carrying his own child. Carrying this being on your back must have some weird symbolic meaning. He was holding so tightly that I could feel his long and sharp fingernails penetrate my throat. After we finally got upstairs, I was so upset and in pain that I had to throw him off. I quickly turned around to reprimand him and instead saw a human-sized crow with no eyes and a blood-stained beak. It croaked at me and then soared inside the painting. I wanted to run off, but couldn't. I was in shock, too terrified. That was the moment I woke on the bed, fully dressed and disoriented. Victoria wasn't here. Why did you ask me all those strange questions about yesterday? I had to separate the dream from the real, as the dream was startlingly real. Startlingly real, just like my own dream. We should leave this accursed house at once. After I woke, I noticed Victoria didn't even sleep on this bed. So I went downstairs to check if she was there, perhaps. I found only you, still asleep on the couch, and the door locked. That's when I started to think. We have to force our way out of here because we don't have the key. We are guests in this house. And needless to say, men of God, we must leave without doing any damage. I've already searched this floor for a key and tried to open the balcony door, but it's locked or stuck in some way. What about the windows? Strangely enough, or maybe for a good reason, they are made in a way that prevents them from being opened. Stay here and give it a second look. Whatever you can find that could help us. I'm going downstairs to check. Force should be our last resort to leave. Or maybe we get lucky and Victoria comes back in the meantime. Let's hurry up then. Just don't look at the man in the painting again. We don't want to risk anything.
I need light. I'm pretty sure it's not locked, but rather just stuck. Not sure what's the cause, because both sides of the door are heavily grimed from the outside. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side of the bed. A giant bowl made out of clay, filled with what seems to be some type of oil. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches, and skulls that feed its roots. All I see here is a lonely coat rack. It looks like mud, and it has a sickly odor. How did it end up on a balcony? If I could push it back with a stick or something similar, I might be able to open the door. Forgive me, God, but I must take this. I think it'll fit perfectly under the balcony door. I was right. It fits perfectly underneath. Looks like there's mud on the outside. That should be enough to open the door. My god. Nikolai, come upstairs quickly. You must see this. Just a moment. I have to finish here first. I didn't notice this painting in the dark last night. I don't like the look of this woman. It's driving me mad. I don't need that. My eyes fare better in the dark. It doesn't look inviting, but I think I see something in there. I should go check on Benedict upstairs now. Come closer. Take a look at this. Oh, God. What is this? It looks like a mixture of earth, blood, and flesh. All crows look exactly the same to me. But this one seems to be missing its eyes. Indeed. Just like the one in your dream. A rotten wooden stick. I don't need it. Have you noticed these marks on the door? They were unnoticeable with the door closed. I don't think these are just random marks. It's a symbol. And it looks like it was made by sharp fingernails. You understand now why I wanted to leave the moment I saw this house? Calm down, Benedict. I am calm, but we both don't remember what happened here, and we both had horrible dreams. And now this. Can you still smell that sickly odor? Don't you see the connection with your dream? Maybe I opened the door last night and saw the crow's head. It could be the reason why I had that dream. Doubtful. Something else is at work here. The crow looks like it's been recently decapitated, and the mud is still wet. Don't you wonder who did this? And why? I can't think clearly in here. I found a key inside the stoop. The key to the entrance door? Inside the stoop? I believe so. Haven't tried it yet. At least I won't have to walk over the devilry on the balcony, and risk an injury by jumping below. You think Victoria could be responsible? If it wasn't you, or even me, who else could have done it? The man from the painting? I knew it. 
Come on. You really think she's capable of such a thing? What's the matter with you? She may be my sister, but I don't know her anymore. I do know she's playing with things she doesn't understand. Things she doesn't understand? Things no one should understand. The symbol, the decapitated head, blood and flesh. You mean with occultism? Witchcraft, I believe. She's playing the role of a witch to play with me, unaware of the consequences that will inevitably come. My wife is not a saint, but to think she's practicing demonic things is insane. The key I found downstairs is probably the key of the main door. You already revealed your suspicion about the key. Why are you mentioning it again? If the key is here, where is Victoria? I don't know and I don't care. She could have locked the door from the inside, left the key, and then jumped from the balcony. That's my point. It doesn't make any sense. Why would she do that? I think she found a second key, because no footprints are visible in the mud outside. She didn't jump from the balcony. Something else must have happened. You think she made us forget last night and influenced our dreams? No, but she's the one who picked this house. Not you, and certainly not me. That was a deliberate choice with a plan. And what would that plan be? I think the castle exhibition was just a lure. Her real intention was to drag me into this town to play with my beliefs and fears. You really don't know her anymore. What happened between the two of you? She doesn't want to tell me. She became the same person our aunt was. Godless and incredulous about our father's words. Hopefully he's at a place where he found peace. Unaware of my sister's thoughts and acts. Let's go outside and make a plan to find Victoria. Our minds are being suffocated in here. No, I've had enough of talking and I don't intend to search for her. I'm leaving this town at once. You can't just leave. She's your sister, for God's sake. She stopped being that a long time ago. Just look around and think about everything we discussed today. I'll say it again. Something else must have happened. There must be a logical explanation to all of this. Why did you even agree to come here? Obviously, I wanted to see and feel what it looks like in hell. I'm not in the mood for joking. Why? She mentioned she had to talk to your superior in the monastery. And what else could she do? After I declined, the only way to have it her way was to persuade Father Imre. He must have given her his blessings only because of the assignment he had for me. Talk to the local priest about the town. See, there's nothing in the official Vatican archives about Sveti Kotar. And after coming here, I think I know why. Can we go downstairs now? I have a train to catch, and I need to find that priest before then. I'll accompany you, my brother. It's a small town. We should be able to find Victoria along our way. There's nothing more in there. Before we step outside, you have to promise that once we find your sister, you'll talk to her. There must be no arguments or secrets in this family. Why do I have a feeling you are not leaving with me? Can't you reevaluate your decision? I'm leaving, Nikolai. We never planned to leave the next day. Didn't she tell you? This house was rented for three nights. She did not. So much about having no secrets between us. Please, leave me alone. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. My name is Martin Mostov. I am a detective in the service of the town of Svetikotar. How can we help? Is there anyone else inside the house? No one. It's just me and him. Why? Where's the woman? The house is empty. What's going on? We came here looking for a woman, only to find two scared men. And who's the man in your company? Dr. Eric Hatur. Doctor? Mr. Hatur. 
Is somebody hurt? Dr. Khatur is the warden of the asylum. He helps the local police force with his knowledge of the mind. Not a man of words, Dr. Hatur. He prefers to keep quiet, just like your friend here. Are you looking for the owner of the house? Because we don't know where she is. Hand the key of the house to Mr. Hatur. Why? Just do as I say. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I heard nothing. Are we free to go now, Martin? No. You both have to follow me. Why? Yes, I'd like to know as well. Why do we have to follow you? Orders from above. How can we trust you to be what you say you are? What's with the face? You never seen a photo of a man with an intact head? It was taken before the incident. Where are you taking us? Down to the police station, where everything will be explained to you. What prof- I'm not in the position to do that. There's a hierarchy I have to respect. Who is the woman that you seek? The woman's name, uh, the woman's name is, uh... Victoria. What for? Why do you need her? Uh, sir, uh, everything, everything will be explained to you in this station. Now, if you don't mind, please follow me. Whatever harrows you through last night, it'll be nothing compared to what will happen if you do not obey. Benedict, what do you say? We have no choice. All right. We'll do as you say. Come. First sign of electricity in this town. I guess one could get lost by looking at this mirror for too long. It's so dark that I can't see my own reflection. Anyone on the other side? I have a train to catch. Why am I being held here like some kind of sinner? Can someone tell me what this is about? I think I heard someone. I did nothing wrong, and you have no authority over me. Let me go! Place all your belongings inside the box. Don't try to deceive us. We'll know. I'm not giving my Bible to anyone, even at the cost of being tortured and executed. He's just a brother-in-law. So, Benedict. What a strange surname. Donani? Dohnani. Whom do you serve, Benedict Dohnani? I serve only God. We all do. But you serve him in a different way. Don't you, little priest? I'm a monk among the ranks of the Pauline Order. Solitude and silence with God. Many believers say it's the only way to be near our Maker. What can you tell me about that brother of yours, Nikolai Kali A Kin? He is a deacon. That's not what he said to us. Are you trying to lie to me? How could he serve God if he's married to your sister? 
He abandoned the path to priesthood to marry her. Deacons are allowed to serve in both houses. <laughs> After such a horrible past, God had to make it up to him. What do you mean? His orphanage days. The mass grave they found at the orphanage. What? You must have heard about the witch nun from Minsk. Vaguely. I was very young back then. Your brother was there. You saw all those decaying child corpses in the backyard. It's horrible just thinking about it. What do you mean? His orphanage days. The mass grave they found at the orphanage. What? You must have heard about the witch nun from Minsk. Vaguely. I was very young back then. Your brother was there. What do you mean? His orphanage days. The mass grave they found at the orphanage. What? You must have heard about the witch nun from Minsk. Vaguely. I was very young back then. Your brother was there. You saw all those decaying child corpses in the backyard. It's horrible just thinking about it. I know nothing about him in his past. I think you're just trying to protect him. It's useless. We'll find out everything we want to eventually. It's the truth. I barely spoke a word to the man before coming here. Quite an interesting family. What time is it, officer? Time is not relevant in this moment of your life. I'm under the jurisdiction of the Vatican. You have to let me go. The church can do nothing for you here. You, like everyone else in this town, answer to me and our patron saint only. Now tell me. What brings the three of you to our little town? It's a long journey from Budapest. We were invited to attend the exhibition at the castle. And who invited you? Nobody invited me. It was my sister who was invited and who made me come along. You're lying to me. No strangers allowed to get into the castle. Invitations don't exist. Tell me the real reason. I was dragged here by my sister. What does it matter after all? We never made it there. Continue obscuring the truth, and you'll end up dragged into Akhrizat for eternity. Nikolai is a liar. He's already doomed. But you... I feel you're different. You're not like him. We know your sister was at the castle last night. She was seen by multiple witnesses. Tell me everything I need to... Are you sure that was Victoria at the castle? How was that possible? You said strangers are not welcome. Has anyone seen me or Nikolai there? I have to confess that something happened in the house we spent the night in. I don't know what exactly, but it was Victoria. She did this to me. Officer, can you hear me? Complete nothingness. Let me out! Finally! Am I free to leave now? You both have to come with me. Again. Why? Oh, where? Beyond the Wall of Crosses. At last. The grandiose Church of Mary. After so many centuries, still here, still holding up against... What are we doing here? I'm not at liberty to talk about anything. Now walk. The chief is expecting you. All entrapped within heavy iron cages. Do you have any idea why we are here? No, but I know what this place is. I overheard two officers talking at the station. I heard the detective say this is the Church of Mary. The officers referred to it as the Heart of Darkness, said they've never been here until today. Judging by the architecture, I'd say the church was built in medieval times. I was told Victoria was seen at the castle last night. They told me the same, and I don't know what to think. 
Let's not talk about it here. Ever heard of the witch nun from Minsk? I see. So they told you about my orphanage days. Victoria knows you were an orphan? Please. I don't want to talk about it. Did they ask you anything about the house? No, but I suspect they will. The warden is here, inside the churchyard. I can't believe this is happening to me. Never mind. Someone's in the driver's seat. He looks tense, wildly moving his hands and head as if threatened. Ah, oh, you made it past the Wall of Crosses. Through tall trees, unmarked paths, and unnatural dreadful silence. Into the heart of darkness where you invited us to meet. We invited you? You have, with your deeds. I don't understand. What is this place? Why are we here? This church was built with one purpose only. It failed miserably, and was absorbed by darkness instead. Chief, we'd appreciate it if you could tell us what's going on. Words are unnecessary. Light always reveals. Lights on, officer! Now, take a good look. God! What? Tell us, why are we here? Lights off! Ranko Merzel, the beloved mayor of Sveti Kotar, hanging up there all alone with a dreaded yellow mask. Underneath the mask, he has nothing left. His face ripped off, his eyes gouged out and eaten. His skull cut open, and parts of his brain eaten. All whilst alive, tortured cruelly by the moon ghouls, or those that want to become one. In the very end, his chest an abdomen were torn and his heart ripped out to be devoured. His body is still up there. How could you possibly know all these things? We don't have to pull him down to know what happened. We've seen this too many times in our lives. Who are the Moon Ghouls? Saborans is their name. Servants of the Moon Demons. Some people believe they're not humans, but rather evil entities that take human form. We don't know who they are. They're hiding in the shadows, impossible to find. This is a horrific crime scene. We shouldn't be here. Is this the way you welcome strangers in your town? We know the mayor was murdered by Nermin, a man who decided to worship the moon deities. The past teaches us we are unable to see the true soul of other people, no matter how close they are to us. So you interrogate strangers and tell them of the existence of malicious beings, and in the end you show them their prey? Nermin didn't feast on the mayor's corpse alone. There was someone else who joined the ritual. The name Nermin doesn't mean anything to us. We're here for the first time in our lives, Chief. What do you want from us? Lies. All lies. Where's Victoria? Or should I call her Petra instead? What do you mean? We know she used the name Petra when introducing herself around town. Our mother's name. We just don't know where she's hiding, and we need you to tell us. We don't know. When we woke, she wasn't in the house. It was our plan to go looking for her, but then your men intercepted us. We don't know where she is. Why do you think she's hiding? 
Do not try to make a fool of me. She was seen pushing a man from the castle roof last night. And when we found his severed head, he wore a yellow mask. We know she helped Nermin. Her scratch pad was found up in the belfry, amongst pieces of human flesh. If you want us to search for her, fine. Once we find her, she'll face the same fate as Nermin. They'll beg us to end their lives. Why would she help Nermin, a complete stranger to her? The Saboran's cult needed a witch among them. Morbidity and the occult fascinate her. She's your sister, you should know that. This is insane! My wife would never do harm to anyone, let alone join a cannibal cult! Who was the man she allegedly pushed from the roof? We are still trying to fish his body parts from the chasm below the castle. Whoever he was, he's just one piece of the puzzle. How can you be so sure of her guilt? What proof do you have? We found her belongings in the belfry, and her coat in the woods, not so far from here. Coat? Uh, how do you know it's hers? A coat, badly damaged, with blood stains. Her wallet and personal ID were inside, but we also found something else next to it. An eviscerated fetus. My sister was pregnant? She still is. Don't you understand what they're trying to do here? Victoria sacrificed her unborn child to the moon demons. <sighs> no. This is not possible. She would... She would never... We know she's hiding somewhere and we know you're lying, which makes you her and Nermin's accomplices. She even tried to make us believe she killed herself after the murders. I... an accomplice? I fell asleep the moment we entered that house. I am a man of God. How dare you put such sin on my soul? I've seen many people say or think they're godly men. That means nothing. Faith is more than mere words. Why do you think she tried to fake her own death? There was a suicide note in her coat. Many have taken their own lives in this pathetic. You clearly don't have any intention to help us, but we might have means to change your mind. Chief, do you really think we would be lying? Is my wife really capable of... of committing such atrocities? Look around. Can you smell death? Can you sense wickedness? Of course I believe that. This is a cursed land. And I don't know who you are, and I don't trust you. None of you. Take them away. Make them talk. Gentlemen, you know how this works. Follow me. Why have we stopped, Detective? Someone needs to help you out. I'm letting you go. All of a sudden you want to help us? Why? Your sister came here to join a madman? She chose this town to fulfill her occult desires? And you're helping her to hide. That's insane. Maybe she got kidnapped by Nermin and... I don't know. You must find her as quickly as possible. Chief Norden will be furious with you. I never lie to him. Or at least it's what he thinks. He won't question my decision to let you leave. But you have to give me your word you won't leave town. We have your passports, but one can always find a way out if he wants to. We promise. I wouldn't question a word from two- I... promise. Start your search with the warden. Dr. Hatur? I was with him last night before the incident at the castle. He was already looking for Victoria. Before the incident? Are you sure? My head injury sometimes makes me have memory lapses, but you don't have to question my intelligence. 
I don't know how, but he might be somehow connected with her disappearance. Could he be found at a mental hospital? Oh no. You can't possibly get to the Maruf Asylum. It's off limits for non staff or non inmates. The doctor resides at the only lodge in this town, the Goldeen Lodge. That's where you should go first. Where's this lodge located? From here, go down towards the lake. Once you reach the shore, go left. You can't miss it. Why did he stay at the house while we were being interrogated? He wanted to make sure Victoria wasn't there, but to tell you the truth, I think he had other reasons. I'm not sure. What time is it? I don't know, but it's getting late and you should act. Immediately. The train is about to leave soon. Could you give me my belongings back? That I cannot do. I'm sorry. We have to go now. A few words of advice before we part ways. There is a reason why this town looks desolate, even in broad daylight. Don't get yourself fooled by the lights you see here. This soil is cursed, and the air tainted with wickedness. I know you can sense it. It's the opposite of what you're used to. Be wary while wandering around. Under no circumstances you should go into the forest or onto the mountain. They are forbidden. Stick to the town. The moon ghouls are impossible to find except for when it's too late for oneself. God bless you all. I hope you find salvation in spite of the horror all around you. We have to split, Benedict. I'm going to the lodge. You should go back to the house in case Victoria comes back. I don't know my sister anymore. She became a person I've dreaded my whole life. She's a devil worshipper, a murderer, a person acting against God. Who is she? How could she change so much? Since when do you trust other people? They are lying, Benedict. Victoria is innocent. Did she drag me here to sacrifice me? Like she did with her unborn child? Hey, she did not do that. Our child is not dead. The chief is lying. Before this journey, when was the last time you saw her? A couple of years ago, I guess. I see and talk to her every waking hour since we married. People don't change that much. She's a good person. They don't change. They just strip the facade and show their true self. If they are lying, how do you explain her scratch pad in the belfry? I don't know. And what about her coat? Or the fact that she used my mother's name to introduce herself? We should ask if this is true. The only person she spoke to after arriving here is the lady from the souvenir shop over there. Don't forget, she was seen pushing a man from the castle's roof by multiple witnesses. Maybe she was assaulted. We don't know who that man is. And what really happened last night? If we don't succeed in finding her soon, going to the castle is something we should consider. And this is partly on us. We weren't so weak. We wouldn't have been drowned into a nightmare cycle of dreams. Just look around you. It's already night, for God's sake. I've noticed. It means we slept for more than half a day. Even when dead tired, one can never sleep that much. It's unnatural. The house definitely did this. Because we were weak. It's my fault? 
It was her idea to make me come here, and she picked that damned house. How do you explain the balcony horror? You're... you're right. I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain many things. I'm just trying to find a meaning in all this madness. We should move, brother. She might already be back at the house. Or in danger at the hands of that warden. No. I'm leaving. You what?! I'm leaving. Going back to Budapest. You won't make it past the border. You don't have your passport. I'll be fine. Given the circumstances, Father Imre will understand why I didn't talk to the priest of Sveti Kotar. But he will judge you if you leave your sister here. I don't care about Victoria and what she got into. God will be her judge. God will condemn you for leaving your sister to die here. Open your eyes! She's the only real family you have. My family died the day my father left us. I'm with God alone now. If you leave, you will pursue your own selfish desires, not his will and words. She was accused wrongly. You need to stay here and help me find her in the name of faith. You think she might be back at the house? Could be. It's the only place where she knows we might be. Are you going to help me? I'm going to the house, and if she's there, I'm leaving at once. You both wait on me, but stay out of the house and hide somewhere outside. The warden or the police might come back. I'm going to the lodge. Be careful.